So I'm supposed to ask you and start recording. Yeah, okay. So welcome to Teachers Teaching Teachers. Um, we are looking at the debate that happened last night and Bonnie's students, um, Bonnie Breeze Bentham's students who did some amazing work and are continuing to, and we're going to kind of look at that work and then think about it together um, and see what we've been up to. Um, Aditya is here. Um, you just started ninth grade. Do you want to quickly introduce yourself and tell us what you thought of the debate? Hi, um, my name is Aditya. I am a ninth grade student in uh, ba uh, Basking Ridge, New Jersey. Uh, and I, I had some thoughts about the debate. Uh, so I'm coming in with the perspective of the fact that I do do debate like uh, competitively, or uh, at least I did, and I'm going to try out for my high school team this year. Um, and I definitely have had some thoughts about um, some of the claims that were made during uh, both candidates' speeches. Um, and go ahead. Was my microphone off the whole time, or no? No, we're hearing you. You're good. Okay. Uh, as someone who like does, as someone who did have a little bit of prior knowledge on some of the claims they were making, like I could immediately tell that I, I I kind of was like picking up on the fact that like every couple seconds I was hearing some kind of falsity, um, like uh, some kind of false fact or another, mm -hmm. or at least it felt like that. Cool. No, that's cool. It's good. Good response. Thanks. Um, Marina, please quickly introduce yourself. And did you watch the debate? Or I did. Hi, I'm Marina. I am a third grade teacher. And well, I didn't watch it. I listened while I was doing some work. And I definitely had a couple moments where I was doing some work. I had it on another screen and I would toggle back to be like, wait, what? Like, um, and then I found myself just like when I'm on these calls sometimes, like, cause this is just, I think my nature, like there were some things that were said that I was like, wait, I need to. And, and to what you were saying, Aditya, I was like, wait, I kind of want to look this up now to see if I've missed something in the past whenever. Um, so I listened, I listened and I had moments where I looked, um, but I was um, doing some work and listening and then finding myself exploring and researching too. So um, that's, that's my debate story. Cool. I would definitely agree that there were some moments when I kind of did a double take, like, really, that's what they said? What's an example of that? Do you remember? Um, I would say uh, the, the, The claim happened? that Donald Trump made about the dogs claimed. He, so basically, there was this Facebook page in uh, from this random this this Facebook post from this town in Ohio, uh, where uh, someone made a claim that uh, immigrants were coming in and steal, stealing people's pets and eating them, and then that got just every single major Republican before the debate was like spreading that, including um, Vice President. Uh, candidate uh, J.D. Vance he even posted I think he re reposted that on Twitter or something and Trump mm -hmm. made that multiple made that claim multiple times which uh, they they like, they've talked to like officials in the town and every single official has said that has debunked that claim as well and I think it was like the town planner or something or someone yeah. uh, debunked the claim as false what would so happen kind of what would happen in your competition if you made a claim like that uh, I think the other side would immediately like be like that's not true, and I would like, like in general, then they would be able to use that uh, kind of as a foothold, almost like, hey, if he's making this false claim here, he cannot be trusted, and try to tr take away my credibility, and then uh, they so they would immediately refuse that, and then kind of damage my almost reputation to the judge, and mm. I would almost certainly if I made such a glaring falsity that has been debunked by officials in the town, then I'm pretty sure I would lose that round. Unless the other team just somehow didn't manage to notice, which in this case definitely wasn't the case. Like uh, the, the moderators picked up on that immediately. Let's get Jack and Christine in here. Did you guys get to watch or could you watch or? <laughs> no, couldn't watch. So we've been just uh, picking up on the uh, 
conversations via the mimetic um, stuff around it. Um, and it's really disturbing to have national figures say things like that um, and put, you know, immigrants in all over the country in danger because of ridiculous and dangerous claims. So cool. Yeah, I'm not cool. Thanks. Jack, any thoughts, or you want to jump in, or just? Say um, uh, I think I think uh, Chris is a little diplomatic with our our distaste for the whole thing. It's like it's like <laughs> political pro wrestling or something. It's like let's watch let's watch people like the theatrics of body slamming each other, and let's let's watch it like like politics is sport. And we just cheer for our team and hope she you know gets a good uppercut to his jaw. Uh, you know, all cloaked in the fiction that somehow we can reason out policy things and, and two people expressing, you know, reasonable opinions, we being reasonable citizens could uh, could derive, you know, reasonable conclusions from that, which seems far from the truth, far from how politics works in general. And so anyway, but 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 that's uh, that's just 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 my opinion. <laughs> All right, we're done here tonight. Thank you. <laughs> no, <laughs> Bunny, where were you? <laughs> Welcome. Hi, everybody. Well, I was hosting a debate watch party um, here in Delaware County. I am a vice chair of Step, Stomp, and Stroll, which is the party's code word for the organizations, um, the Divine Nine organizations. So I hosted a party and and felt guilty that I wasn't in the, the stream with my students. But when I went into class this morning and turned it on and put it on the screen and saw all of those comments, I said, they did not need me. They did <laughs> not need me. So it was very interesting. Um, if you all don't know, Divine Nine organizations are all Black people. Um, so it's very interesting to go to something like this and be with a room filled with Black people who will speak their opinions out loud, even in a crowd. Um, but because they're college-educated Black people, you know, they're very kind with what it is they're saying in public. But it it was very very interesting. How many um, people were there? Was it a restaurant uh, thing? Or really? uh, I it was in a venue, and we had some light bites and um, beverages. Um, this time, the place they sold some wine and 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 drinks and stuff. And um, then it's lots of literature and it's opportunities for people to sign up to volunteer for other activities as well. So th at this particular event, we had 55 people in the sign. So I was with 55 other people watching the debate while my students were ripping apart writing partners. <laughs> yeah, and so we're gonna look at that. Now, now I guess you're going to talk about this, but what was the situation? So I thought you were going to say you were at a watch party with your students. So your students were also at a watch party. They were at a virtual watch party. And I told them, I said, it's like I'm hosting two watch parties at the same time, <laughs> but I can't. And I said, oh, well, such is my life. You know, I'm always doing something more than, and then I'm ended up trying to be one person in two places you know, that's my life. But I did not go over with them in the streaming. Um, I gave them a lot in the front. So Got I it. front loaded them. Yeah, I started counting. There's there's over 70 of your students were there participating, maybe more than that even. Um, yeah, it was more because some of them had to work, Paul. So I, I told know. them they had to get in where they fit in. And it was no way that they could not be there at all. I wanted to see comments in the live portion of the debate. And they would have time to do it again thereafter, but I wanted everybody to be there live. However, it's funny, um, Joe, uh, how you said, because I've been telling mm, people today, I said, well, you missed the Kamala Harris smackdown. 
you know, just like it was a WWF uh, hmm. <laughs> contest. That's how I've been describing it today, all day. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, so I was um, I was sitting in my living room and uh, watching your students come on, and I was amazed. Um, so we did a we did a half an hour right here. A few of your students came just to make sure everything was cool, um, mm -hmm. and, and then um, they went over and and started annotating. So what we've done is we we took a the, the live stream from C-SPAN and we embedded it on a writing partners page. And it works the same way as you annotate a video. Um, you know, a few years ago, I started doing this. No, never has there been this kind of turnout before. Um, but um, so, so we can look at that and you can actually participate. Um, does that make sense to do that? Mm -hmm. I think maybe. Oh, can I tell, tell can Please. I share, share with them how I front loaded them first? And yes. that's why they they came up. I'd love to hear them. that. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 what you're about to talk about is um, if anybody wants to go up and look at it, um, I put the docu the documents from the conventions which is up on the table right above you. So any and those are available. Okay. But go ahead. Yeah, describe. All right. So wait a minute now. Um you don't have the show, or if you want to, you can. Yeah, because I can't talk about everything that that much. Okay. So you're going to present? Yep. Okay. So as you're setting up, Bonnie and I introduced. So there, there are like skills to, to to work on, and adults get to these skills slower than students do. I think. I think, but. Um, Annotating a video is like takes a cognitive like wait I can watch the video stop it annotate it and then come back so there's some of that so here it is these are the instructions they can log in they go to the um, tabbed area to find it which they learned the day before this was such a fast turnaround Paul and I I think both of us are crazy because we do things in light speed. Um, so they had to make comments. I told them, pay attention and listen closely. Um, I don't know if you all can see this. Um, can see it. Can see yeah, okay. Why a debate? Why is that? So I'll, I'll talk about that with them. But I wanted them to really know what a debate was all about. I asked them to use window box notes, not really to take notes, but to think about what it was they were doing and why they were in there commenting what facts were being said. And then that way I was able to talk about the AI piece. They could use um, the Harris um, fact checker simulator or the Trump fact checker simulator to give them reason to do that, um, to question. And I said, it's not an author because I'm really setting them up for the literature that comes thereafter. You're not questioning an author, you're questioning the debater. What are they saying? Or is there vocabulary you don't know about? You know, you need to look it up. Did they use the words correctly? Um, and the fact checking again, I also, not only um, did they have access to the fact checker simulators, I told them about factcheck.org, that they could also use that. And then the things that came to mind as they were watching, and a lot of that sh is showing up in their comments. Like if they said some, I have a lot, I teach the world. Children come from all around the world. So when they were talking so despairingly uh, about immigrants, you know, that really shook a lot of my young people. Um, and so all of these things, that, and then a specific line, I said, you all, tomorrow the news, which I was speaking on that day, I said, every news media is going to have one or two quotes that's just going to keep popping up, keep popping up. You're going to see it on your social media. I said, try to find those. And I said, in this, there is no summarizing and no paraphrasing. So then this, I am so glad I put this in. Consider tone, clothing, physical stance, facial expressions, and more because the facial expressions that both debater was using both presidential candidate. I said, so what did the, you know, what was that saying to you? 
the children were so excited this morning, but I have to share this other piece with you too. <laughs> How do I do this? Okay, you do this, you do that, you do this, you say screen, <laughs> you do next, and then Nia, yeah, this is it. So the next thing I showed them, this came directly off the New York Times page. They're doing forums with youth about this presidential election. How about these doggone questions are aligned with our grade level essential questions and themes? And I broke it down. Like, who, who are you? Form one, who are you? And how's your about identity? That's our ninth grade theme. Conversations across divides. 10th grade is about systems. Um, uh, uh, 11th grade is about change, but here this form three doesn't really connect to change. It connects to, um, just who you are and the skin that you're in and how you're, you're making out from here to your heart, from your head to your heart, to the community. Um, and for information and disinformation was just simply true or false. Is this true? Or is this false? And how are you presenting yourself to the rest of the world? And how are other people presenting themselves to the world? And then five, hope for the future. What are you optimistic about? The New York Times did that. Our last, for 12th graders, it's about creativity and creation. And I always tell the young people, you are the change we await. What will you do? You are the next set of leaders. What will you do? Who are you? And uh, what do you have to hope for as a result of, um, of everything that you learn, everything that you participate in, all the things that you say? So, so Bonnie, could, could your, are, are you aiming, do you think, to have your kids post on the forums? Um, I, that's what I, I want to do next. Yeah, I think they should because especially now, you all, I came in the class this morning and saw 1,114 comments on that debate. I was like, what in the world? I had to do everything to not cry first thing in the morning. And so what I did, I text Paul. Paul, did you see? Wow, wow, wow. And he said, I know. Over one thousand comments. I was there. I was seeing it happen. Oh, and you were seeing it in real time. And what's interesting, I had the many of them are mine. Classes up into <laughs> sections. I said because these young people do a lot, so I need it in sections so I can keep up. Well, on this, they're not in sections. They're all just there. I was like, oh my gosh, how am I going to go through this? Life as right. an English teacher. That's my, that's, buddy, my goal is to make it impossible for you to get grades. I have to say this, Paul, and then I'll be quiet and let you do your no, thing. No, I'll be quiet. The I children have... were so excited today. All the teachers knew what they had taken, that they, what they had taken part in because they couldn't stop talking about it today. And one of the children, why, Ruth, why do you think they, why do you think they found it so exciting? And um, so, yeah. it, because they were speaking a language they could understand. You know, they weren't these presidential candidates weren't so lofty in their language, in their ideals, in their stance that the young people couldn't understand. They could understand. They can understand. And really, a lot of this, this is their first time. These children are, are Trump children because they grew up under, under Trump. That's their most recognizable president. And then you have Biden. And so he's an old man to them, but he is their president. But they all heard. They all heard everything. And they understood what was happening. And they were excited to be a part of it, even as they're not eligible to vote. These are 11th graders, very few 12th graders. Yeah, and, and I'm not exactly sure why they connected that way. But yeah, so when you can do an assignment at night, that is, is a real thing, right? It's not homework they're doing. 
it, it was pretty cool to see that happen. Not the Claude did homework, but I did. I, but I gave. I'm giving them a classwork grade. And you're right. I did a rubric for it. Who? How am I going to do this? I can't even. All right. So, <laughs> so any but questions? You know, it's so exciting. Oh, Paul, you one thing you don't know. Ruth, a one of the students, mm -hmm. her father is our uh, our assistant principal. So mm -hmm. he even talked about it in PD today. You know, he said, I'm going to take off my principal, assistant principal hat and put on my father hat and talk about how exciting it was to see my child doing the work that she was doing in this debate and that she wanted to be there. The children wanted to stay. I told them, just do as much time as you want. You don't have to do the whole thing. Most of them did the entire debate. They were there the entire time. Yeah, I was impressed by that too. Yeah, and most most people who watch don't watch the whole thing either. They they yeah. check out after the first half hour. Yeah, yeah. Um, I do think it's about them being with each other too, right? Even though it's online, they saw each other. They were talking to each other. So some of the digital discourse stuff about dialoguing with the debate was mm. happening, but also they were dialoguing with each other. So that chatting was happening, um, and we can look at that and think about that. So th that, I think, kept them connected in there as well. Um, I was going to, so what I put on the table up there, I just wanted, <laughs> it isn't what you were, what you described, and I'm glad we, you described. But we, let me just describe that we thought it was important, even though it was just a day before, mm -hmm. to show the students how to, Watch, watch a video. So we gave them the convention speeches on a, on a page. And they were watch, we asked them to make two comments on each of them. They, they learned how to scroll across and say, OK, I want to make a comment here. Um, the video stops. They make the comment. And then the video starts again. Um, the, the stream works really the same way. The, you know, it, it continues and you can catch up to it if you want. They manage that pretty well. I, they, it was in light speed they managed it. Yeah. And years, I, in other years, they took them longer to get it. Introducing them to that a day before was helpful, though, I think. Okay. Because, so, yeah, but yeah, they did take to it really fast. Um, so, if you, anybody wants to see what they did around that, so. Let me break that down a little more. We had them comment first on um, on the videos, the convention speeches. We then had them go and reply to each other um, and, and see what that felt like, both as a replier and, you know, and, and this is all human, right? And then we use the, um, the simulators. And to you can go look if you'd like. It's the election to 2024. If you join that group, you'll see the two simulators and you can click on to see what we did in the prompt. And the prompt just says, you know, lots of language about what a fact checker does. And mm -hmm. then it has two articles. One article for the Harris one is the factcheck.org's analysis of her convention speech. And then the other one, the other one prompt has the article of Trump's convention speech, the analysis of that. So what's happening when they ask the fact checker to check? And this is tricky because you know AI doesn't have facts, right? Mm -hmm. um, is it it goes out and it it takes their question and and filters it through that article, mm -hmm. and then comes back with an answer, right? So, and there are really complex ways of doing that called RAG, RAG, but there's, this is a kind of simple prompting way to do it. You just put the article there and it checks against the article and you'll see, and we've also gotten pretty good at only giving a little bit of the answer at a time. So your mm -hmm. students are kind yeah, of- Yeah, that was very that. impressive. I noticed that. Yeah. So any other thoughts about all that prep work? That I was- Or questions? I was just reading stuff, so I missed. What article are they testing facts against? Because I was just noticing one that um, they were going back and forth. They or there was a exchange about the immigrant claims. Right, it's checking against factcheck.org's analysis of the convention speeches. 
So oh, we're, assuming, we're assuming okay. that they're going to bring, they're going to be talking about some of the same issues and some of the same facts would come up from there, right? Got it, got it, got it. Now, there were things that Chump has said in the last two weeks that, you know, the fact checker misses because it wasn't in the convention speech. But, yeah. But in general, it does a pretty good job, I think, mm -hmm. of that. It and did. I, the students seemed like their comments, We you did have them write reflections, their comments about, hey, this AI is really helpful. It's giving me some answers. Mm -hmm. I was, I think that's a good thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> never sure, but yeah. It is because, you know, so many people are telling them not to use AI. So here they're coming in a class with me and, and everybody, we, we, you remember when Paul shared the um, article, grammar is a big Ponzi scheme. That was their first reading and their first, they had to respond to that. I did a text rendering using that's that article. Oh, that's interesting. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's also there in the election 2024 group. If you join that group, you'll find it. Go ahead. So they, um, I introduced that to let them know, you know, and I, I use this word very loosely about myself that I'm kind of crazy. I don't just do conventional, this is how you learn things in my classroom. So, or, or that what you learn in my classroom is, is the way, you know, because it's been handed down for the last 50 years that this is the way I, I that's not how I teach. So, you know, they have to get used to me. And it seems like I'm trying to do it very quickly. But I, I'm glad that that's the way I am because, you know, collaborating with Paul in this way, you know, he works in light speed. So I have to do it too. And, you know, just be off the cuff with what we normally do. And as you know, Cantrell, you know, digital discourse. This is what young people are doing all the time, all the time. So how can I elevate their learning, their knowledge base, and expand their horizons by using tools that they favor? That's and such a good point, Bonnie. Like the fact that they're like this kind of discourse online is happening all constantly right through text chats and through discord or whatever like just like running commentary as world the world is um so that's really interesting to think about that and then to sort of provide it some i don't know prompts and parameters right and and Absolutely. some new content to consider and think about instagram and TikTok. What yeah. I'm doing now is people read the comments now. Yeah. Read the comments. So if people, you know, here they they were doing they were doing it. I was amazed because I said, oh, they don't need me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they know how to do this, right? It it well, is interesting. I mean, I'm I, I really appreciate hearing the pieces around all of this. And I think it's so important that those don't get lost because um, mm -hmm. it's really easy to dive into the thousand. I mean, I'm sort of getting lost. I'm trying to pay attention to both, but um, the thousand comments and not think about like how much, you know, what you provided to surround this. Um, so that's interesting. But it was fast. Can't yeah. I mean, we did this in light speed overnight. Yeah. Overnight, we did it. So, well, which was crazy. Okay. That was crazy. I think that was crazy. However, they <laughs> were able to do it. Yeah. So, shall we take a look? Or you're already looking, Christina. Does everyone want to take a look? Here's, let me just say what's laid out on the table, right? <laughs> and then and then we can see because there is a question at the end and the forum the times forums is an interesting thing to be aiming toward like so if you click on jack and christina are on top of <laughs> it's a big, Dude. On top of, there you can stay there okay. no no it's okay. if you click on that you so here's a little piece 
when you first look at it, there are uh, there's a whole slew of them that are not time stamped, right? But if you um, and and so may, maybe I'll share screen and, and show some yeah, of this. Do it, do it, Paul. Mm -hmm. um, because I want to see how you look at it too. Yeah, yeah. And so this is this is a way to think about. It. Um, on the table, also just to identify everything here quickly, is um, that election 2024 button takes you to the group that you need to join, which will then allow you to have the te the check. Oh, sorry, the fact checkers in your like when when you ask AI, right? Um, and then there is a list of all of the students, and it was my hope that and so you can see that list that that's on the table too. And then there is the next step, like how do we move these comments to and and you've just I didn't think of this earlier, but to the forum piece for the New York mm -hmm. Times, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and using AI to do that is that last piece on the table. We won't get to all that, but I'll show you some of this. And please interrupt and say, what's going on here? Wait. <laughs> all right. Now, let me just like. You're already done. Moving on to the New York Times forum. Is, is the New York Times collecting? I mean. I don't know. I have to. I'll, I hear you, Cantrell. I already hear your brain. Yeah. <laughs> right well, yeah. Who did that? Sorry, I, I, I was gonna promise Sorry. A Sorry. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear the question. What are you asking? Just what um what is the New York Times asking for? And like I don't I is it just it's not you wouldn't want to move comments like disconnected to a forum, but if there was like an opportunity to do like a second level something that the New York Times was collecting, that would be kind of cool. Right. No, no, we want we don't want to move comments. The question is, how do we, uh, and using the digital discourse things, I think we've done a pretty good job already of um, annotating socially of also, because they talk to each other, there was a lot of chatting going back and forth already, um, but we haven't done anything about um, social making. Making um, something think, out of it, yeah. Right, and so yeah, I think we need to make something and then that might be ready for the for the forum. Yeah. Per, 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 and, and, you know, it might be ready for Youth Voices if we were going to continue with Youth Voices, youth voices but we might not be. So f finding um, places like the forum is a, is a great idea. Um, I meant to share. Am I sh am I sharing? I am. I was pulled before now, Mark. <laughs> okay. Am I sharing right writing partners? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um. Let me get to. So if you. Uh, I meant to. Sorry. I actually practiced this, so it wouldn't be so cumbersome here. But. All right. I'm gonna try this again. If you click on the debate, the, the Harris Trump image there, you will go directly to, and then I'll share, to Ryan G's comment. So please do that while I'm showing, showing also, which I will present again. And then I'll show you what I'm doing. Yeah, I did it right that time. Come on. Wait, so quick question. If uh, yeah. why is there separate ones for Trump and uh and uh, uh Harris? Why is there separate ones? Or could you uh fair, fair question because the Harris one checks against the fact checking that they did um for the Harris convention speech, and the Trump one does fact checking against his convention speech. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, now, so it gets confusing. It gets confusing about you know they they tend to work back and forth. And if it's a if Harris is saying something about Trump, sometimes you can use the Trump one to check the Harris. So it's it's not. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What what's interesting? What are you thinking? I was thinking about. Uh, what about create? Is there like a so I noticed over there is saying like check the library of I'm like in the prompt mm -hmm. right now, 
mm-hmm. it's saying like you, you're allowed to use certain sources and then like your sources include the library of congress the uh the house clerk and senate secretary's office so is it accessing the internet or have you already reloaded no. in all the information no others have asked that too no none of that is that is not happening the only thing it's doing is checking against that article okay i see mm-hmm. right so it is not it is not going out to all the sources and it's not connecting to the internet or anything it's just checking against that article and why wouldn't you want it to connect to the body of fact checking content just i i think the yeah we could but we don't have we yeah. can't do it <laughs> we don't have the technical skill to do it I see, I see. And then it might be too much information for yeah. the young people, even though I gave them the option to do it outside of this platform, you know, mm-hmm. that if they wanted yeah, to. Yeah, that's right. You told them to mm-hmm. go. I gave it to, and I wrote it down, I wrote it on the board so that they could take it. And those forum questions, they don't even have those. I told them to take a picture with their phone. Because I, I didn't know what I wanted to do with those questions yet. So, but I wanted them to think about it. Yeah. Another answer to those questions is um, you want to, and, and we haven't certainly done it as simply as possible. You want to do it as simple as possible. Um, and this seems to be working so far. So, we don't need all of those other documents there um, to, to make it work. That's now you way. could do another layer of fat checking now after the live thing. And, and that's what we were doing today. Oh, so oh. all the new comments that are coming up, I said you have time to reply, but also do more fact checking. Yeah. Because oh. the way he designed it, when they make a comment, it pauses the video. Then when they submit, it go it starts again where they where they were in the in the simulcast got it so it seemed like they didn't want to miss it in real time they they really like doing this in real time yeah yeah <laughs> i mean yeah that that tension is always there some of them did the fact checking at you know yeah. while it was going on a yeah. few of them did but yeah um, because i told them they had to do at least two it may have been in the rubric <laughs> to have this many that and i usually don't do that but i wanted them to play with. I say, you all are in a playground. You're in an academic playground. So here's the thing. Um, it is it is still making stuff up, right? <laughs> Never want to get away from that fact. Um, but it so also, it's, it's making stuff up at by filtering it through the, that article. Sorry. The, question, the question you just asked, could we up, do more fact checking now? We, we could take, like, various sources have done really detailed fact check articles. We could take those more recent articles and put them in. I decided not to just to see how well this one is holding, right? Um, but we could, we could update it. But so far, it doesn't seem to be necessary. I mean, there, so... so let, me, let, me, let me go here quickly. Um, once you get once you scroll down to Brian G's and there is a link there that takes you there um everything above here are things that happened before the debate or are things there were a lot of there was a handful of students who never got to do the ad comment thing so they were just commenting to the whole video as it was going so that's above here just wanted to identify that not to take anything away some of those comments are really interesting and, and valuable right but here's what you do you click on here's uh wait where was it i missed it already uh, okay all right i, I don't want to miss these first comments they're fun <laughs> Sorry, bear with me. Let me just do that again. 
one more thing we could also do instead of creating a um a general purpose uh I mean, instead of creating a specific fact checker mm -hmm. uh is you could create a general purpose fact checker um it wouldn't be mm -hmm. like as accurate but you could also put that through as an additional like layer almost like i remember every yeah. time i do debate arguments i would um uh, I would. Sorry, one sec. My friend is. I hear you, I, but yeah, why? Uh, would we do that? Why would we have a more general fact checker if we can have it be more specific? Because then the advantage of that fact. is that every single time that you make uh that you ever that you ever have to do something like this for some kind yes. of major news event, then yes. you can create a slightly. Then you have a slightly more general fact checker that you can. It doesn't even have to be your first like line of defense, so to speak. You can make more specific fact checkers, but it's just nice to be able to fact check everything really simply. Like if you want to just do a basic fact check instead of spending the time to create something specific. Now I, I get obviously in this case is a big event, but like there have been many cases where I just want something that is like simple to use and uh, not too time consuming to set up just yes. for like one off things. So, so you need to, and, and I'm doing this research, look into RAG. Um, because what you do with that is you put dozens and dozens of articles up and it checks against all of those, right? Um, and so choosing a set of them that we think is about a particular subject is something to do. Um, that takes, there's uh, some technology and some learning that we're having to do around all that. But yes, we're moving toward that. So what I'm saying is that I'm not at all satisfied with those general fact checkers. Mm -hmm. I, I want to go toward this. And putting the articles in the prompts is a mm -hmm. quick way to do it for now. But we're going to play with this, right? But so I appreciate your comment, but check RAG out, right? There's, And I'll send you some articles to run it. Um, OK, I'm finally here. So you click around, you click around Ryan. And it, it hops, you click on the white space around his comment, which is, it's time, right? And it goes to the video, and you can start playing the video at the beginning, right? And I'll stay live here for a second. So Ruth says, you see what Ruth's comment is, right? And then... Um, Ruth says, very suspenseful. And then, so they're connecting with each other already. And then mm -hmm. I don't know this, uh, Aditya, do you or anybody? <laughs> um, I agree. And then do you see this word here? I assume that's some kind of inside joke or nickname because it's Ruth, Ruther, 40. Yeah, that seems like some kind of inside joke between two people so or a group of I, people. So I asked the improv teammate to say, what's going on with that? And it's actually, um, it's a, an element in the periodic table. <laughs> and it is used in chat communities to refer to, the, oh, there's some surprise happening. wonder what's going to happen next, right? Uh, I, I do know that uh, yeah. I have a, my, I have a little brother, right? And he and his friends all have a nickname for one, uh, for one of their friends. And his name is like, uh, his name sounds somewhat, so it starts with the same letter as an element on the periodic table. So, oh, there's um, Ruth there too. Oh, look, you're right. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying with this kind of stuff. Is it's so probably Ruth? like some kind of an inside? Yeah, I think it's just like a nickname that they based on the an element of the periodic table, just because. Okay. So I'm doing this slowly, and I'd love for your thoughts as we're doing this right at the beginning because I want to point out there's a lot going on here. Mm hmm. <laughs> not just not just adding H's and not just coming up with the, something from the periodic table. They're they're connecting with each other. They're using language and to, voice, like you know, the way she, way she says truth. I can hear I can hear her saying it. Yeah. Now I want to show you. Um, there there is a way to sort and see everybody and see all of one student's work in one place. Mm -hmm. um, and you know all about that. Yeah. But you can also just go to control F, right? Mm -hmm. and, and put in um, Ruth. Let's, mm -hmm. let's play with Ruth this. had the most uh, comments oh, last right? She had 40 comments. She now has 61. Or maybe that's references to her too. 
So this now will go down and find every reference to Ruth, right? So mm -hmm. I put it in. Do you see my Ruth up here? Um, yes, yes. That's her. So, so that's a way to kind of go look at what Ruth is up to mm -hmm. in a quick way. It was funny how, how they used the word, um, what was it? Uh, suspenseful. And, and who is using the word demure now? Demure is in commercials now. I yeah. Know. <laughs> well, you could search for that word and we could find it. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So is this something you asked them about? Jump off the page? Yes. Okay. That's one of the window box strategy areas. So at any point, I could say, oh, I really wonder what Ruth is talking about here. I could click on her comment. And it goes to that place in the video, and then I can play to it. provide a tax cut for billionaires and big corporations, which will result in five trillion dollars to America's deficit. My opponent has all right, right? Mm -hmm. So then Isa is am I saying it correctly? Isa? Yes. Isa. Isa, Isa at this point asks Kamala says Trump will provide tax cut for billionaires. Right. We just heard her say that as mm -hmm. a so then here's the, here's, she used the Trump fact checking simulator. He. He, thank you. And it starts, and we, we kind of, we designed these so that it only gives them one paragraph, right? Mm -hmm. and, but there isn't really enough maybe to make a decision in that one paragraph, but it's a start. Mm -hmm. And then there's, you want to see more and then they can hit. Yeah, and that's what I'm going. I'm honing in on. Their class didn't have me today. I only had two classes today. Yeah, tell me about how you're honing in like that. As I scroll through, what do you mean you're honing in? You're asking them to go back and add to it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Which I think is pretty wonderful that they had the live experience mm -hmm. and the connections they had then. And now they can go and do this more deep. They can go and, deeper if they want to. Yeah, yeah. And it was interesting, Paul and everybody today, um, the students that weren't scheduled to have me, they came to class today. Everybody wanted to talk to me. And um they just came in and they said, now, you know, we're still talking about it and we still want to talk. Will we talk tomorrow? And I <laughs> said, yes, we will. <laughs> yes. Cool, cool. Let's look at Ethan's for a second because he did go deeper, which is cool that he did. Mm -hmm. Right. His, his father is a retired principal. Okay. Yeah. They held on to it and didn't say anything. But they really spoke loudly when they voted Trump in. And that's mm -hmm. how he got in. Because they, they were like, he's not smart. <laughs> he's not competent. How, how did he become president? Mm -hmm. Oh, and the other thing, everybody, too. You know how teachers get in trouble for talking about who they're going to vote for. I had that yeah. conversation. I, how yeah. I, I had that conversation with them before. The, and they watched this debate. I said, so who am I voting for? And they all looked at each other. I said, right. I didn't tell you who I'm voting for. And then one guy was like, oh, you voting for Kamala. I said, first of all, you're too young to call this woman by her first name. <laughs> but um, I said, so give me evidence as to why you would think that's who I would vote for. One child, well, she's black. I said, no, you can't just vote for somebody because they look like you. What, what other evidence? The other and, thing is true, too. You can't not vote for her because she's... Because, right. Well, <laughs> right. It's the, both. It's both. Especially yeah. with me. I'm crazy. They say you like everything black, Dr. Ben Toomes. So, uh, <laughs> but anyway, I'm getting sleepy now, too. Um, so, they, so there's a lot. Yeah, it, it was a lot, but I made sure I clarified that they don't know who I'm going to vote for. But they did have great evidence. So what I said, oh, that was great evidence. Like one person said, because you're about the people. 
Dr. Bentum, you like giving to the people. And, and Vice President said she wants to be a president for the people. And that's what you like to do. So it was very interesting. That's a, I, I love how you turned that around, Bonnie. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. So, because I knew, I, I know too many of us get in trouble for these yeah. dog elections now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, cool. I, so I just want to say that the lightning speed stuff. <laughs> Now that we have that all documented, it's sort of like you can slow down and let them go into it and go out and do research and bring those links in. And there's a lot you can do with the text that's there. Yeah. And some of those quick things I just showed you about control F, mm -hmm. follow, follow one kid through for a while. And guess what I'm thinking about, Paul, as we speak, because you said control F. How about I'm thinking about some of the screenshots that they could take off the screen to talk about um, in, uh, facial expression and how it would read their facial expressions. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I they, they can also you could also search using Control F. You could search through there were there were a few comments just where they said, "Oh, I love how Kamala looked at him when he said that." Right. Okay. Okay. So you, could, you could search through some keywords like that and you would find things. Right. So, yeah. So, uh, uh, and on I in tribute to September 11th, somebody yeah. blew up America. It was me and you, Paul, last night with the children. <laughs> we blew up America. <laughs> but there's a lot, there's a lot going like, I went slow on that for the first three because I wanted to point out all of the all of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So there's there's a lot to study in that in that document. I think both the students and the rest of us can look at what's happening. Yes, we just put in a proposal for and Paul, you know a little bit about this, but the development of like a teacher dashboard that can help to go through this kind of content mm -hmm. that you would sort of like set up with the things you were looking for and then you know provide you data back um just because of the yeah we can show them this discourse yeah uh, it's interesting mm -hmm. we'll see if we get oh, it that could be a cool thanks. example to play with yeah mm -hmm. well this cool. is exciting stuff and you and know now you're sleepy, though, so you gotta go to bed <laughs> Yeah. And, and then, you know, however, it just really feeds my insanity for learning and my love for learning. I think that's why I'm always saying I'm really crazy. And then my um, love of being multiplicit, you know, doing several things at one time is feeding all of that. Yes. And I think your students have the same thing. So. Yeah, just to say. Um, that's cool. Next week, Carmen Kennard is coming. If you don't know Carmen Kennard, Google her. I'll send you stuff. If you okay. look at the announcement um, on the studio, there's some links to her stuff. She's a pretty amazing scholar who, um, who has looked into some of the stuff we were talking about last week quite a bit. So Yeah, I was reading her blog. Looks good. Yeah. Great. Cool, cool. Good night, Thank everybody. You, everybody. All right. Night, night. Yeah. Be well. Okay. And you too. Thanks. Have fun up there.